Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, I hope you're all doing fine. So it's very early morning over here in Sweden. So, but I'll try to uh, stay um, energized. Anyways, I'll do my best. Um, so we have Quake versus uh, Blood Dog coming up. Uh, it's a loser's uh, or loser's bracket. I hate calling it that. It's a lower bracket game. Um, but um, actually, I'll show you on the stream as well. So, uh, Quake has had an amazing road. He actually beat Loxar in this game, um, which is a big achievement for him, I'm sure. Um, then he did lose to Trigve or Nigve, whatever you want to say. Uh, Blood Dog. Uh, he's been fighting his way a little bit here uh, through um, uh, through the losers bracket after losing to Mac Macism from Norway. So this is where we're at now, and whoever wins this game is gonna be up against the winner uh, of uh, Lord Lame and uh, Rakiet. So that's gonna be an interesting game as well. The next game. Mac is also waiting for the winner between ER and uh, Greco. So that's gonna be fun. And of course, on the upper bracket side of things, we have Locust versus Bulat. That's gonna be a good game. Trigve versus BPS. I kind of favor BPS a little bit there, even though he's out of shape. Um, but uh, I kind of favor him anyways. Locust versus Bulat is gonna be amazing. So that's, uh, that's gonna be real good. Um... <laughs> Good. Uh, what's up, Dev? Since Do Blood Dog is playing, it's losers bracket. <laughs> and Privet, all all Russian Russian viewers as well. Privet, Privet. Uh, thank you so much, Ronnie, for for that prime sub. But I think they want to start the games, so I shouldn't um I shouldn't keep the them um waiting for too long so i'm gonna lower the volume on the music here we don't need any music for this go back into the game Whew. that could have been an ear killer here we go All right, just letting them know that I'm ready. And uh, yeah, look at this. I hate Blood Dog for his long freaking name. His name is so big it covers the entire screen. It feels like. Uh, so the first map is gonna be DM2. Um, it was the pick of Blood Dog. Let's see how the beginnings are. And here we go. One second, Blood Dog spawning water. Quake is gonna get the first low rocket launcher. It's gonna go for the red. Possibly gonna try to catch Blood Dog here. No, he's gonna do a rocket jump. Try to catch up with him though. But of course, both Megas are up. Oh, Quake missing the first rocket jump. So it's gonna have to take the long way in order to not waste too much of his um, of his armor. But Blood Dog is there waiting for him, and of course, Blood Dog is gonna have the other Mega. So this is gonna be a little bit uh, difficult for Quake to make it out of this situation. And Blood Dog is just waiting for him to see what he's doing. It's also very interesting that uh, since Quake is Russian and uh, Blood Dog is American, but he lives on the East Coast in Boston. Oh, this is a good fight actually from uh, from Quake. He's gonna take a little bit of that. Oh, what a minute rocket by Blood Dog! That's gonna be the first frag of the game, and it's a beautiful minute rocket. We got a great view of it from uh, the perspective of Quake. So that's a beautiful first rocket. He's gonna get another kill as well, and probably a spawn frag here as well. So a quick three nothing lead for Blood Dog. Might be hunting for another kill here. Yeah, it looks like he is. He's gotta be careful here though. Ooh, just barely gets the kill. But yeah, now he's gonna have to back off and try to get some armor. But I was about to say that because of this, the Irish uh, server is actually perfect because they have completely equal pings, both on 77 pings. So this is. Uh, as even as it can get uh, for a uh, oh nice meta rocket for from Quake, but it's as as even as can get for a Russian and an American to play or North American. 
Oh, it's a very even pinks. But a very good start here for uh, Blood Dog. Well, I don't know what other maps they're playing, Ronnie. I mean, I don't know what, um, what Quake is going to pick. Russians are notoriously very good uh, at CT and DM3, but so is Blood Dog. So that might be a dangerous pick. So we'll have to see what Quake is going to pick. Maybe one of the Russians know better uh, what they think Quake. Oh, this is actually a really good fight by Quake. Here might come the first frag for Quake. He's going to get that frag and start his comeback. Has to be careful here not to eat any of that spam. Okay, Quake gonna pick CTN. Okay, that's gonna be dangerous because um, Blood Dog is also very good at CTN. It's not gonna be an easy task. That's gonna be interesting. Blood Dog, of course, hiding out here a little bit. It's gonna force Quake to run back, but Blood Dog is taking a lava bath and he's just barely surviving. No, he's gonna jump into the lava and die. Maybe Quake can find himself a spawn frag here. Here we go, that's one, and here's another, and we're at four to three, and another, so we're gonna be tied at four. So we've had two spawn frag situations here, where both Blood Dog got a couple of spawn frags on Quake, and Quake got a couple back onto Blood Dog, so we're tied at four. Still have six and a half minutes to go though, this game, so this is a pretty action-packed DM2. And Blood Dog is actually gonna just face, uh, face first going to uh, Quake there. Probably calculated that he was gonna survive that um, more so than Quake, that he had more armor and health. He does still have a Mega, so he's in pretty good shape here. As long as he does a pretty good fight here, he should win it. Oh, just barely. 50 HP. And Quake was just a millisecond away from being able to uh, fire another one. But nice sneak attack by Quake. They're both gonna go down though. Blood Dog is gonna pick up the packs. So he's gonna have a rocket launcher for free, but he's down so much. He's only got 15 HP. He's gonna run for his life at this point. Let's watch quick. Oh, okay, he's not gonna chase it down. He needs to restack on some ar armor. But Blood Dog in the lead. Two frags. Quake has him trapped here. Oh, he eats a grenade though. Nice grenade by uh, Blood Dog, but let's see who wins this fight. It's gonna be a. Pretty good big one actually. Is Quake gonna be able to survive? He's out of rockets, so he has to back off, but he survives with 4 HP. Ooh, this is a dangerous place to be in. He needs to time this perfectly or else he's gonna die. Yeah, he's probably dead here. Yeah, Blood Dog is not gonna let him escape there. Let's see what Blood Dog does. If he's gonna stay behind here or if he's gonna continue the action. He's up by three frags. Okay, it looks like he's gonna continue the action. Probably try to deny this mega, this top mega. Yeah, he's just waiting for Quake to make the move. Oh, smart play by Quake, actually. That's a great angle. I like that. Very smart. He's gonna eat a rocket there, but that's unavoidable at this point. But here comes the big fight. And Blood Dog is just barely gonna win it once again. 100 HP left. And then they're gonna <laughs> trade another frag. This seems to be uh, happening all the time at this point. Oh, nice, nice play by Blood Dog here. Uh, Quake is in trouble. Ooh, but they're actually gonna trade once again. They keep trading. Blood Dog is looking for. Oh, that is that is a dangerous attack without any armor. And of course, there's no need for Blood Dog to attack at this point. Four minutes, four frags. Let's watch Quake, what he does. Here comes the attack. He's down to one HP. Oh, he's gonna go down. He's gonna try to spam Blood Dog. And Blood Dog is gonna go into the lava and he's probably gonna die here. Yep. Nice job by Quake. And maybe a spawn frag. No, he actually picked up the pack. The pack was picked up by Blood Dog, so he had a rocket launcher for free. Quake didn't put that into his calculations that there might be a pack there for uh, for Blood Dog to pick up. I'm still gonna watch Quake because he's the one who has to chase for a couple of frags. Looking at Blood Dog, he's actually gonna come platforms here. It's a, not an even fight actually. Blood Dog has the mega and yeah, it's gonna end up with Quake suiciding. Here comes another 
another fight, but all Quake has is a grenade launcher. That's... Oh, no. This first map is not looking good for Quake. Of course, it was the pick of Blood Dog. So, you want to win the, uh, the, the maps that you pick. Of course. This is a smart move by uh, Blood Dog. Yeah, I've seen him do that before. I think it's such a beautiful move to make that jump down and uh, just fire a rocket immediately when you exit the teleporter. Because it's going to fire straight towards the Mega, which is what he knew that uh, Quake was going to go for. Quake is going to get a frag here, but he only has two and a half minutes to... Oh, and he took a couple of rockets to the face there. And Yeah, this is not looking good for Quake in game number one. <laughs> oh, beautiful, uh, beautiful grenade by Quake. Not enough to kill Blood Dog, though, but uh, still a beautiful one. In Blood and Quake is just going all in at this point. He knows that this game is over. So he's just uh, playing crazy a little bit. Um, but yeah, solid play by Blood Dog. It was very even in, in the beginning of the uh, of the of the map, though. Ooh, Blood Dog almost missing that rocket uh, rocket jump, having to use a second rocket. It's gonna cost him a little bit, of course. But he's gonna have both megas and uh, half a red armor. Where is Quake? Okay, Quake is just kind of AFK. He knows that this map is over. <laughs> He's just standing here. And Blood Dog is still looking for him. Let's see if he finds him. <laughs> he misses the rocket. So he sees him in there, but Quake is just AFK. <laughs> Quake is still in there. <laughs> this is the equivalent of just GGing out of a game. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Quake has given up on this one. <laughs> Just bring up the axe. No! Blood Dog, why do you do that to me? At least axe him. He's the, uh... <laughs> okay, he's having to... <laughs> he's killing himself more than Quake has. Okay, axe him now. At least the axe. He's gone for a smoke. <laughs> He's back now. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, he knew that this game was over, of course. Funny finish to, to that game. Um, Big G Gamer. My quick world looks like the actual weapons on the ground, not a uh, red cartoony rocket launcher. Yeah, you can you can choose how you want them to look like. This is just more understandable for people that might not be too um, familiar with uh, Quake World. All right, so the first map is going to end twenty three to seven uh, in favor of Blood Dog. So one to nothing Blood Dog. But here we go, CTN DM three. This map was pretty much made in Russia. Well, it wasn't actually, but. Uh, the Russians are very, very, very good at it. And they're gonna trade. Wow, Blood Dog actually getting the better spawns here. He's gonna get the first red armor as well. He gets the lightning gun pack. So a little bit lucky for uh, for Blood Dog. He's gonna take a 2 nothing lead and get a couple of spawn frags here. Nice play by Blood Dog to uh, rocket jump and steal that uh, yellow, making sure that Quake isn't gonna have any armor whatsoever. with that. He's gonna, probably going to pick up this red as well. Now he has timing on the Mega. The Mega and the red are synced up, which is okay on this map because they're right next to each other, of course. And yeah, this is not a good start for Quake. An amazing start for Blood Dog. Um, he did get the better better spawns. Spawn the packs. He, uh, yeah. Now he could opt to go for the red armor as well. The red armor is up. Um... Looks like he's not gonna. Oh, nice, nice start to this. Uh, yeah, that was a perfect fi uh, fi uh, fight from Blood Dog, picking up that red armor in the middle of the fight. Ooh, beautiful rocket. 
<laughs> oh, nice. Okay, Quake gets a frag. Let's see what he does. I might bring this back at this point. Well, at least start a comeback. One can hope. The Mega is about to spawn. Quake should know that. Should know the timing of this. And it looks like he does. Perfect, perfect timing. Uh-oh. What is going on? Shit, sorry. Okay, I think good. Go. Okay, okay, okay. Continue the game. Oof. It's scary. We know that Blood Dog, of course, uh, has a child and so on. So you never know when he might have to pause. I hope they know that they can pause the game, but someone has to elect admin to be able to do that. But it is possible. Quick is going to pick up this red armor. So we have plenty of time to go. Uh, so he has plenty of time to make a comeback here. Mega is gonna spawn. Good timing by Quake. It's really controlling that Mega at this point. Now it just needs to find the frags. He's, he's trying to catch Blood Dog off guard here. Of course, that's gonna make a lot of noise and oh what a beautiful attack by Blood Dog. Actually bringing Quake down so low he's gonna have to back off from that fight. Smart play by Blood Dog and Quake once again on the back foot here a little bit. Blood Dog did get the uh, red armor, so. But Quake still has timing of this Mega, so maybe if he can uh, make sure to time this Mega. Here we go. Get that. Okay, now he's in good shape again. Now he's uh, ready to take another fight. This might be the moment. Oh, he eats the first rocket to the face. Dog eating a little bit of damage, but so is Quake. Oh no, he walks straight into that rocket uh, from Blood Dog. So we're back to Blood Dog being in control. He's gonna get a spawn frag and maybe another one. And now Blood Dog has the Mega. Showing some of his speed as well. It's pretty good. But that rocket, uh, rocket jumping around a little bit. Now Quake is in very much trouble. He needs to get the next next frag and establish some control. Maybe get some lucky spawn frags for his own as well. That would be very helpful for him. Lodog is going on the hunt here. Gonna do the Loctar thing, or, well, it's not actually just the Loctar thing. It's a smart thing to do, denying the yellow armor by just damaging yourself so that you can pick it up. And now he's gonna get the next red as well, so he's in perfect shape here. Gonna get the Mega as well, and now he's uh, in even better shape. Oh, hard times for Quake. Dog is running both armors here. He's just getting frag after frag and a couple of spawn frags here and there. That's a nice trick jump, by the way. If you shoot right after entering the portal or teleporter, you'll actually uh, oh, see a uh, Quake. I'm never playing in morning. Okay, GG's. Oh, <laughs> Quake not happy about playing in the morning. Oh, no. So he's actually, uh, yeah, he's gonna forfeit the game, I guess. Uh, I guess Blood Dog could just uh, break this. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know exactly where Quake lives, but uh, I think it will probably be like 8.30 in the morning or something like that, maybe 9.30. Yeah, it's 1.30 in the, in the US. Yeah, okay. Blood Dog is gonna break the game.
that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, 9.30, okay. Yeah, if you're not used to playing in the... In the mornings. Um, if you're not used to playing in the morning, it, uh, it can be hard. Yeah, Blood Dog saying that. <laughs> His kid just woke up, so kind of lucky for Blood Dog. Ah, that's unfortunate. The Quake didn't want to um, uh, continue this game. But he did give uh, GG's uh, and uh, yeah. What else can you do? Yeah, it's 9.30 in Russia. All right. Um... Okay, let's see what this means then. I also said on uh, on Discord, uh, he gave his good lucks to Blood Dog. So, yeah, fair game, fair game. Let's look at the bracket. So this means that Blood Dog is gonna advance to do nothing. Quake not happy about playing in the early morning. Um, can be understandable. It's not easy. Um, but yeah, Blood Dog is gonna advance to the next round in the lower bracket. It's gonna be up against either Lord Lame or Rakiet. It could be. The, I want to. I really want to see this game because it's gonna be interesting. It, it could be real fun to see a Lord Lame versus Blood Dog. I think that could be really fun. Um. So that could be. That could be cool. And of course, Er versus Greco. And then we have these winner bracket game or upper bracket games. All right, guys. Well. Kind of, uh, kind of an unfortunate end to uh, that last game. CTN, of course, being Quake's map, um, and I'm sure that he could have done better, but he didn't feel it today. Big G gamer, I can't believe people still play this so much. I quit around 2005 because nobody was left playing anymore in the USA. I joined servers and nobody would join. In 2000, they were loaded. Um, I hope you are on the US Quake World Discord. They have um, events every single night now. A lot of Americans are playing. And Canadians. So there's a lot of things going on in, in the US scene right now. And it's very revived. Probably thanks to... Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's made a, an amazing comeback. Thanks to uh, Messiah and the rest of the crew over at um, US Quake World. Discord. If you're not on it, um, I'll give you a link to it if you want to reunite with uh, old players from the US or North America in general. So they're definitely active now. They have events every single night. Um... Well, I don't know if there is anything more to talk about at this point. I'm just happy that so many tuned in at this weird time of day. I mean, it's 7.30 in the morning here. Also, thank you, Spasiba, to all um, Russians watching. I'm really happy that you guys tuned in. And yeah, well played to Blood Dog. Um, well played to Blood Dog. Sad times for Quake, but this is the way tournaments go. So, okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. It was a short stream now. I, ho I was hoping for six games, or uh, sorry, three games <laughs> and a decider, but uh, that's life. Can't get everything you wish for. All right, guys, but uh, I'll see you maybe later today. We'll see. There's a lot of things coming up. Also, uh, if you don't know about it, uh, I will upload this to... Um, to YouTube of course and include my brand new patreon and we also have a discord coming up for uh, sudden death TV and other things so stay tuned for that uh, all links are gonna be in the YouTube video but thank you for tuning in Spasiba 
I hope you have a good good day or a good night if you're from the US. So see you guys.